Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and as promised, I thought we could work on the um, cover of the Winter Journal. So I have taken a paper pumpkin, paper pumpkin um, box from Stampin' Up, and I just opened it out flat, cut it into the shape I wanted, and then I peeled off the orange cover to get this cardboard, and then I've just gone and peeled off um, down to the corrugation. So. This is what we have, and so what I'm going to start doing, because a few spots, some of the corrugation got to, like torn off, so I thought what I could do to just kind of stabilize it a little bit is put some bits of burlap down. And let's see, I kind of need my glasses, and I started without them. Okay, got them. All right, so um, there's just like this spot up here. And I just kind of thought it'll add another um, layer of texture and it'll also help stabilize those parts where a little bit came off and I like I said I kind of just like the texture of that so I think I'm going to use tacky glue to hold those down and we're going to be going over the top of it too so um, I think in the end it will be tacked down very well I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend it's um, kind of just gray and icky here. <laughs> not necessarily real cold or anything, just not really nice. I mean, we've been very fortunate with our weather, so not the norm for sure. And I'm also going to just put some burlap in other spots too, just because I kind of like the texture of that. And we're going to be painting it with the white, so, um, you know, a lot of that will not look as rough as it does now. It'll look a little snowier. And I've never done one of these before, so <laughs> this is all new to me as well. If you're new, and I want to say welcome. I've got lots of new subscribers. I've been hearing from you guys. And I think it's awesome, and thanks so much to Gail Agustinelli, because she is so great with sharing people's um, channels that are, you know, littler than hers, or really just anybody. I mean, she's just awesome at um, sharing our information so that other people can see our work and digis and all that. She's, she's just an amazing lady, and I want to thank her, because lots of you have been telling me that you're coming over from Gail's channel to check out what I got going on and I really appreciate it. She's a sweetheart. I'm so happy that all her health tests came back good and she's all good so that's amazing. She had lots of prayers I know out there for her. So yeah, this is definitely, if you um, are working on a project, you could go ahead and get that out because this will probably be kind of slow and not, you know, super duper exciting, but hopefully it'll help a few people anyway. That's if I can, if it turns out good. <laughs> you just never know when you do these projects how it's going to come out. But usually with junk journaling, which is the part I like the most about it, is it's very forgiving and um, you can usually make things work, which is super great. I got lots of people that have said they're new to junk journaling as well, which is awesome. I love to hear there's more because as I've said, there's a few of us now that I've um, talked to through YouTube will not really talk to, but have mentioned that they live in the same area that I do. And they've also said that, you know, people just never know what you're talking about when you say junk journals. So it's fun when more people are getting into it. I was thinking yesterday, I went to um, Hobby Lobby with my family, went to dinner and then went to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> but, um, 
I was looking at Tim Holtz ephemera and a lot of it's you know the same that he's had for a while which is fine because it's all awesome but I was thinking I wonder why more companies don't um, do more of the ephemera or maybe they do and we just don't have it here or something I don't know that's always possible because um, it seems like it would be a good thing to get into but maybe it doesn't sell great to a lot of the other craft you know different crafts that people do but it would just be nice to have a little more variety I mean I, there are some and I know you can get some on Amazon too but I don't know I just would think it would be a little more available than it is and I know like I said Amazon has stuff but and Etsy of course it just doesn't seem like there's that many companies that have it piece doesn't want to stick down right there I know this is looking a little crazy right now but I'm hoping in the end it'll look kind of cool And I'm not doing a whole lot in here because I'm going to put um, something else over the spine after I sew in the signatures. So I'm not real worried about that right now. fingers. I guess I could use something to push those down, but tacky did it. glue doesn't really bother me because it um, comes off pretty easy. I'll just put a little one. Of this will get covered <laughs> like it does. Okay, and now another thing I wanted to do is put down some book page, kind of like I did on those playing cards. And a lot of you have been asking what uh, glue stick I use. I use Scotch Create. And this one's really my favorite as far as strength, and um, I like the way it goes on, the way it covers. Um, it doesn't seem dry like a lot of glue sticks, sort of, you know, you're putting them on and they seem to be drying as you're putting them on, and then they don't stick very well. This one seems to be a little um, more moist. I mean, it's not like super wet, like it soaks everything, but it just... Um, it seems to last longer I guess is what I'm saying and then its hold is really good so I like it better than Yoohoo but I know a lot of people love Yoohoo so it's just your own personal preference but that's what I use is Scotch Create and I get them in four packs on Amazon so I'm gonna just kinda run this around kinda like the, with the playing cards and I'm just taking old book page and I'm just going to stick it here and there and this is going to look completely crazy until it dries and I peel it off because you know it's sticking out all weird directions and I'm really kind of pushing on this because um, you know it's corrugated so I don't just want it to plop right off after I take it away it's just going to give another you know, something on the paper. I mean, you need a longer piece. This side out. Very much like we were doing with the playing cards. 
down a little bit more. Trying not to glue it onto where there's the tacky glue because I don't want it all stuck everywhere. I just want it in certain little spots. So this would be a good way to use up some of this uh, bits that I had left because it kind of was, you know, seemed wasteful to just tear those strips off of the cards and then have all these pieces sort of left. And we'll, we'll see if this even works. I don't know. What I'll probably do is um, stop the camera and I'll get these dry and then I'll come back because otherwise this is going to be a real bummer. Oops, I'm too high there. there. Alright, I'm going to actually glue that to that just so that when I tear it, hopefully it will come off with that. I was going to pick that up. Can't pick it up. Um, so that about does those in. Uh, let's see. I think that's good for that. All right. I'm going to turn off the camera and I'll be back as soon as I get this dry. All right. Hi, I'm back. So um, it's still going to dry for a few minutes because I kind of singed it a little bit right there with the heat gun. So I think I just kind of want to let it get dry. <laughs> I don't want to burn down my house. Sorry. So um, what we'll do while we're waiting for that is, hopefully this paint isn't going to dry entirely before I get there, um, I'm going to do some pieces of music paper to go on there as well. And I don't know if I want to. I think I just want two of these, whatever they're called, I don't even know. Are these called stanzas, Aiden? The bars on the music? Huh. And it's right about these sections. What are those called? Lines. Oh, they're just the lines? Yeah. I, I don't know any idea. You know me. <laughs> About as clueless as they come on this topic. So this is just old sheet music. And you could just, you know, if you don't like doing this kind of thing with real sheet music or whatever, you can use uh, printed out sheet music. Um, just be careful of copyrights if you're going to sell it, obviously. And uh, all that jazz. This one needs to be a little smaller. Uh, you have to hold down the lever. I don't know how I got that one so much narrower. And this one, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I just kind of like that. Okay, so I have some snowflakes that I um, printed out, or not printed out, but cut out of with my Big Shot die cut machine. 
and I thought it would be kind of cool to put some of those on the music paper. Oh yeah? What are you talking about? It's Pasha. <laughs> if it's not one cat, it's the other, so. <laughs> And you'll notice I'm not coming all the way to here, and that's because that um, is most likely going to get covered. So, because it will meet the binding of the book. So I'm going to use decoupage on this because I really want those to just stick down. So this is all going to just be in um, stages, basically, because then we'll have to get this dry and. And I'm going to use Mod Posh. And this is matte, I think. Oh, it says gloss. I don't know. But we're going to be using paint too, so I'm not really that worried about that. I just don't want them lifted up, basically. This is some wild smelling Mod Posh. Wow. I think that's why I like just using glue usually. This stuff is... Okay, pick it up. I can't pick this one up. <laughs> kind of just going to cover the whole thing just so it looks the same. Plus it'll help strengthen it a little bit so it's never a horrible idea. Just going lightly, real light. Trying to go the same direction as the uh, like the little arms of the snowflakes. Still think I kind of want something out this way a little bit. Even if a little bit of it gets covered, it's okay. Okay, now we gotta let those dry. Oh my goodness, Parsha. He's got, he's a Persian, so his face is smushed, you know, flat face. So his nose, I'm telling you, it's kind of like a bulldog or something. <laughs> snorting around. It's just more of a squeak than a snort, I guess. This one's really kind of fragile because it's all hollow in the middle. boys went to um, go to Best Buy. <laughs> so my daughter and I are here because we're like, you just have a lot of fun with that. My husband uses that as bribery to get my son to go with him to like get his haircut and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, my son just got his haircut the other day, so normally he wouldn't want to go. <laughs> but Dad said Best Buy, so he jumped in the shower and away they went. Okay, so that's going to dry. So we'll come back to that when it's dry. Setting them out of the way, get this out of the way, get the brush out of the way. And this, I'm going to put a new piece. Just so I don't, I mean, not that it's that big of a deal, but... And see how this book page worked out. I don't know. No idea. Let's see where I singed that a little bit too. Oh, it's
you kind of tear it towards the words, they'll tear a little more, which I didn't do there. So it just depends on the look that you want. it's got a thin section. Just trying to strengthen some of those sections a little bit along with the effect, you know. This may not come up at all, which I really want it to, because I don't want it all perfect like that. edge that perfect there. And the words. Okay, I'm going to dump this in the garbage. Ugly towel. It's falling apart. Okay, and I have some bits that are kind of sticking up here that I'm going to trim off. And I'm not saying I'm doing this the right way because, like I said, I've never done one of these before. So <laughs> don't let this be the be all end all of of how to do this because it's just a wing and a prayer here but it is fun so that's all that really matters in the end and that I like so I think I'm just going to glue that down a bit more if I can get any glue out of my so it's just about gone. Okay. I think that'll work. Alrighty, so now I think we can start painting some of this. I might I think I might add some like pieces. Excuse me, of doily. Hush, what are you doing? <laughs> Aiden, come look at him. He was playing with that light bulb. We have these like stand like things when you come up our stairs and um, they have light bulbs and they don't get hot though. They're not the hot type of light bulb. And he was just batting at them. I think I'm going to kind of decoupage these down too just because I want them to stay down. Ugly towel again. And I don't know how I decided which thing I was going to use where but whatever. I just wanted to use good strong tacky glue on those pieces of burlap and these are white and yes I am painting with white but I think that it'll work fine and I'm kinda tucking in you know making sure those are all down real well and this one I think I'll put down here And like I said, this could be a disaster. I don't know. Okay. 
I want to put one in. I'm put this big one right here. It's going to get partially covered, but it would still look cool. I am seriously going to be sailing with this Mod Podge. It's like, ugh, it smells horrible. I've been wanting to try one of these ever since I saw um, Gail do her bird song one. Oh my gosh, that thing was so cool. Just liked it a lot. Very pretty. And I'm doing this because I don't want big globs of glue in those creases. Because I just, you know. Not the look I'm going for there. <clears throat> okay, let's try some of these on the back. This is actually the center piece of this one, but it's super cool looking, I think. Make sure I get all those the little tips because they obviously are what's going to get caught on stuff if they're not down all the way. And feel free to fast forward because you may be getting totally bored out of your mind. I understand. This sort of reminds me of how I did my Winter Wonder pages. I mean, it's it's not exactly the same, but just using all different stuff. I like the effect that it has. Oopsie, they're backwards. Not that it matters. They're both white, but... I really like the doily because it kind of sinks down into those um, spots, which is kind of cool. Oops, that was a loose piece of burlap there. You guys see? Okay, good. Thought maybe I was hanging off there. Get it right on that burlap there. Damn. This one may end up getting covered a bit, but it's okay. I should 
shouldn't have poured my, my paint out. I wasn't thinking. I just was trying to have stuff ready. Should have brought up some plastic or something. Got way too much on there. little guy over here I think are there I think that's it. I think I'm gonna put this one on this side. It's raining. It's been raining a lot. We haven't really had much snow at all. Kind of weird. Um, that might not need anything else. Yeah, I think it's good. All right, so we're gonna stop doing that. <laughs> And now we have to get everything dry, so I will be right back again. Okay, hi, I'm back. So I realized after I was, when I was over trying to get these dry, that I um, had this one upside down. So I had to add another snowflake here, and I went ahead and added one there, just because I'm not sure how much is going to get covered. So those are going to dry the rest of the way. And then I did the cover, but I'm going to show you something else I did yesterday. And you guys probably saw me do it, but you know, <laughs> I can't hear you. So anyway, I glued that page on upside down, like so that the tags were going into the corner of the page. I don't know what I was thinking. So I had to go and fix that. So I um, cut it off of the old blue page and I put it on a new blue page. So anyway, I mean, it turned out it's fine, but, and I went ahead and put some ticking on the top of those. So anyway, I did fix it. You want the tags coming out the side of the page, not into the binding, duh. So anyway, you know. Um, one lady said that in one of my uh, videos, I did an oopsie because I glued it all upside down and I figured it out while I was on video and all that and we all laughed and it was funny and I told her I, I do lots of oopsies. Because, <laughs> brain sometimes. I think I just get almost like tunnel vision or something and um, I get focused on the one part I'm working on or whatever and I'm not really looking at the whole picture so anyway so this is uh, it's still a tiny bit wet and that's not glued down very good yeah it's still wet so I think I'll go ahead and do a little bit on these because they're a teeny bit wet over here no, I'm going to go dry these and I'll be right back. Sorry. All right. Hi, I'm back. I got my dry. <laughs> and my paint is okay. I mean, maybe just a touch of water. Okay. So I am just going to lightly go over this with white. And it's just acrylic paint. You could totally use gesso though, or whatever, you know, you like. Just use an acrylic, because that's what I got. And I want it pretty light. I don't want it real dark. And even though those snowflakes are white, they're really picking it up, and I think they look cool, so I really like that. Okay, so let's 
that dry. And a little more water. I'm kind of going, as you can see, in pretty much one direction because I don't want, um, I just want all the lines going one way. That gives you better coverage than if you're going up and down and all over the place. Getting close to the edge there. And so even though that was a gloss, um, what do you call it, Mod Podge, this is all going to pretty much cover it because I really don't like the gloss, but this is going to give it a little more matte. Okay, we're going to set these aside to dry. That one needs a little more. Kind of missed this end over here. can dry and then we're going to get our I'm not that worried about the paint necessarily because we're going to cover the inside of this too so you can see all the glossy spots but again this is going to end up covering a lot of it I hope anyways this time I'm going to go up and down because of the grain of the um, corrugation I'm not pushing hard, I'm pushing really light. And I want to leave some spots, you know, a little more corrugated looking. But I really want mostly white. you know, kind of bring it all together. Got a little flick there, so I'm going to get a little water. Hopefully help move that around a little more. And I really want a lot of these places where it's mostly just the cardboard. I really want those covered in white, almost like, you know, snow sticking to a window or that type of thing. And it may be that I end up doing more than one coat. Yeah, I'm liking covering the burlap a little more. And I can trim the edges over here, like, you know, where you see it hanging off. And it's all your own preference on how much coverage you want, you know, if you want it completely or if you want just bits of it or, you know. This is going to give this uh, corrugated cardboard a little more strength as well, and I'm just doing this 
because I want to. <laughs> There's really no reason because it's all going to get covered, but check your edges so they don't end up with big glops. But yeah, this will help give it a little more strength because this was a really thin corrugated cardboard, which I like because I don't like the really thick corrugation that much. I think it's just too bulky, but... I'm just going to be fingernail marks in here now for my fingernails. <laughs> A little water. Get that fall in there a little more. Almost dry brushing, but you know, obviously, I've got a little more paint on there than I would for dry brushing, but kind of moving it along the same way. The doilies really kind of went away quite a bit, so you can still see that one pretty good. This one down here is not bad either, but uh, it's kind of crazy. I guess because they're so flat. They were going right into the corrugation. I'm just trying to bring out some more of the details by getting rid of any, like, um, globs, you know, of glue, so that you can start to see some more of that a little better. Okay, so I think we'll have to stop there today, and then, um, because it needs to dry entirely, and I'm not going to do that all with the heat gun, because it's just, it just gets too hot, and I don't want to, um, scorch any of the white. So, we'll stop there, and then... I'll come back before I do anything else to it, you know, before I put on the music paper. It's going to go about, like, right there. So, anyways, I won't do any of that until, you know, I come back on film. 
So uh, we'll chat again soon. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And um, welcome to all my new subscribers. And of course, welcome to um, all my longtime subscribers. You guys are all awesome. And I really do appreciate all your kind words and support. And I just, I can't believe how um, supportive and amazing you guys are. So thank you, thank you. And we'll chat again soon. Bye-bye now.